sports action from the WB. It's time now for the best high school sports action from the WBCB Sports Network. Catch the best games from Bucks and Mercer County at WBCBSports.com and our Facebook page. Your home for high school sports is right here at WBCB 1490. Good afternoon. Welcome to Notre Dame High School, the home of the Irish, as we get you ready for high school softball on the WBCB Sports Network. Today's game, as the Irish host the Robbinsville Ravens, is made possible by Capital Health System, the Mercer County Prosecutor's Office, thanks to Haldeman Ford Subaru, here yesterday, here today, and here tomorrow. To Kessel Dermatology for making portions of today's game possible, we say thank you. Shout out to the Revere Restaurant in nearby Ewing Township, New Jersey. Thanks to Notre Dame High School where we are today overlooking the softball field and getting you ready for a pretty big game, a great matchup as we have the Irish taking on the Ravens thanks to the New Jersey Education Association, Italian People's Bakery, Jammer Doors and Windows, the Trentonian, and this is the Trentonian pregame show. First pitch coming up in just a little bit. Thanks also to the Trenton Thunder and to Hyundai of Trenton, Chris Ermer, along with Rich Fisher, as the Irish bring an unblemished 6-0 record into today's contest and up against, as I said, Rich, a very tough Robbinsville Ravens team. Uh, great culture of success with that bunch, and they come in with a 5-1 and one record. They're only lost to West Windsor Plainsboro North. But uh, we'll see what we get today. Looking forward to a good one. Yeah, well, you're right, Chris. And, uh, I mean, we're looking – we're really looking at two potential county champions or two potential state champions this year. Uh, there's a very good chance these two could meet in the counties, and there's a very good chance they can both get to the – finals of their sections in the like a uh, big preview in the state right? what's Potent again? a potential preview for the mercer county uh, tournament possibly uh, yeah awesome. and notre dame, yeah, notre dame just played steiner the other day that was another potential preview that's but a big game yep. you know you mentioned the west windsor north game that they've bounced back in a with a vengeance with uh three states three straight non-conference wins including one against shore conference power st thomas aquinas although they didn't have their top pitcher that day but I mean, nonetheless, the Ravens are on a roll. Pitcher Katie Ziliano has thrown three straight shutouts. He's only allowed nine hits and five walks and struck out 26 in that time. But she's matched up against Riley Mahalik, the Houston-bound hurler, yeah. CVC's top pitcher over the Not past few years. Not to be outdone years. in the circle, but 600 strikeouts, pretty good. Yeah, just coming off a game where she got six or 600th. She's also throwing blanks. She's hurled three straight shutouts. And in that time, she's allowed three hits and one walk while striking out 24. So, you know, I mean, Ziliani's got an 0.44 ERA. Mahalik has an 0.70 ERA, 0 0.70 ERA. So if they're if those two are on top of their game, we could be here till about 15 innings waiting for the first <laughs> run to score. <laughs> you know? Well, what do you think about today's weather? Not weather that I want to sit around for 15. I'm not no. sure I'm ever in for a 15 inning. No. Contest. Um, I no, mean, well, I know if, that if because you, you bailed on me at Lawrence when I had to do the 12-inning baseball game. Well, I, I want it noted in the Book of Fish that I was instrumental in making you do your first play-by-play -play rep. That's right. That's right. So when I, I called out sick. When I get in the broadcaster's wing of the Hall of Fame, I will I will thank you for giving me my start. I'll be the footnote but, to the footnote. <laughs> but, yeah, no, you're right. I mean, this weather is something else you have to look at because, now sometimes – your hands get cold if you're playing defense, uh, you're playing out in the field, and, you know, can you handle it and things like that. And, look, we mentioned the pitchers, but let's let's face it, Robbinsville's got some big bats. Talene Ali, the catcher, is batting 588. Haley Krebs is at 571, and they got four others between 316 and 417. So Mahalik has work to do, but so will Ziliani. Elena Gampola's 500 average leads a lineup of hefty bats for the Irish. So, you know what, uh, Pilgrim, these are the kind of games you love to see. I mean, these are two really good teams, and you, you hope that they – you hope the weather isn't a factor where they're cold and they might be a little stiff. And if they put on – if they play the kind of game that they can – that they have the potential to play, this is going to be an outstanding game. A couple of top high school softball programs going at it today on the WBCB Sports Network. And let's take a look now at your starting lineups. First for Notre Dame – 
It's Elena Giampolo at shortstop and leading off. Kaylin Rossica plays third base and hits second. Madalena Creo in left field bats third with Emma Marchese at first base and in the cleanup spot. It's Kara Mazuko in center field hitting fifth with Bianca Pesh, the designated player, batting sixth. Grace Antasevich doing the catching will hit eighth. Riley Mahalik in the pitching circle. Oh, excuse me, she's batting eighth. Antasevich <laughs> is batting seventh with louder back hitting ninth in right field, and your flex player is Jenna Kakuza, who plays second base today for Notre Dame. And they get ready to face this Robbinsville lineup. Again, Robbinsville, the Ravens come in. Five wins and one loss. It's Haley Krebs at the top of their lineup. And she plays shortstop for them. Carolyn Walls bats second, plays left field with Ariana Tomlinson in center field, hitting third. Sorella Gallucci, another big bat in that Ravens lineup, is at third base and in the cleanup spot with Talene Ali doing the catching, hitting fifth. Reagan Robinson at first base hits sixth. Katie Zilliani in the pitching circle will hit seventh with Jordan Grotsky, their designated player, hitting eighth. And Lucy Canuso at second base, rounding out the uh, starting nine with Ava Alderelli in right field as their flex player today. And Mahalik. Perfect timing, pal. Winds and fires a little bit down low to Haley Krebs. Was that intentional? You finished the starting lineup exactly before the first pitch. Just a stroke of luck, my friend. <laughs> nah, you are you are the timing king. <laughs> a line and a fire, and that's in there for a strike. So, got time to talk with Coach Levering just for a moment, and she mentioned that three of her players are in this Trenton Hall of Fame thing that um, you talked about Krebs being one of them. Oh, uh, getting scholarships? Yeah, here's the 1-1. One, one. And it's on the ground right back into the circle. Easy work for Mahalik, who throws over to retire Krebs, one down. Sometimes Mahalik makes it look easy. She fields her position. And yeah, that's something in softball as a pitcher. You have to do more than just throw the ball. You have to be, I mean, I guess it's true in baseball too, but there's a lot of comebackers in softball. You got to be ready. And you're so close to home plate. And then in addition to that, you kind of control the action, control the timing. This one down low to Caroline Walls. These are two of the most well-liked people in the CVC facing each other. Caroline Walls is a multi-sport athlete. Nobody can say anything but great things about her. Ground ball down the first base line. Picked up there by Marchese, taken to the bag, two down. Two up, two down. And here's Ariana Tomlinson, who plays center field today and hits third for the Ravens. Yeah, I mean, nobody can say anything bad about Caroline Walls. They can't say anything but great things. And Riley Mahalik is the same way, just a super kid. So much fun to talk to, and, you know, very, uh, just very mature. And it's just, the two of them are, are, they do this county proud. Winding and firing and Mahalik's got to come out of the circle, get on that one quickly, and throw in time to get Tomlinson by about a step. A great play to get the third out. And she was fired up as soon as she got it. She started jumping up and down, running off the field. So, you know, this is a big game. Mahalik, the author of a 1-2-3 inning to get us going. No runs, no hits, nobody left on. Notre Dame coming up to bat. It's high school softball on WBCB, and we'll keep it right here. Let you know portions of today's game brought to you by the Trentonian, of course, you can read about today's game in tomorrow's edition of the Trentonian. And thanks also to Jammer Doors and Windows, family owned and operated local business since Babe Ruth started playing for the Yankees way back in 1920. And today Jammer Doors continues to swat home run sales, service and installation of garage doors and openers, entry doors, patio doors, storm doors and windows. And Jammer Doors features Raynor garage doors, steel, or aluminum crafted for dependable, long lasting service. Jammer Doors, they do their own work and installation. No subcontractors, and that saves you money. Avoid the big box stores and save with Jammer Doors. Check out their showroom, 2850 Brunswick Pike, Business Route 1 in Lawrenceville. Also in the Yardley Grist Mill, 10 North Main Street, and they got a new showroom coming to Route 1 opposite the Lawrence Shopping Center. Jammer doors and windows. Thanks for helping to make portions of today's game possible. And for Notre Dame, Elena Giampolo, Kaylin Rossica, and Madalena Creo. 
set to face Zilliani as we go to the bottom of the first. Well, that was certainly a quick first inning, and uh, one, two, three. Yeah, Mahalik didn't get any strikeouts, but they were all <laughs> they were all easy outs. Ball didn't get past the pitcher's mound or first base. So, Coach Angelino noted that that win over Steiner was a big one. You know, they're such a good team. Again, lifting them to this six and zero start, and it's been different players that have been the hero as the first pitch has popped up on the infield. Calling for it is Krebs, and she's got it one down. Giampolo couldn't even get her average out before she popped out. She back, she was at 500. That'll drop now a bit. But the leading hitter for the Ravens. And with this good start, I was asking um, Coach Angelino, you know, what's the message in the amongst the team? He said, take it one game at a time. Yeah. I know that's always kind of the mindset, but, you know, sometimes you, teams that are some of the better programs, they think about some of those – end of season goals well i think listen they they <laughs> as, as as most people know that follow the cvc follow cvc softball this notre dame team had a little bit of turmoil you know their coach quit after four games uh you know there's a lot and of that was just last week yeah a lot of written in the paper about it and everything one, else one pitch grounded krebs has it swallows it up strong throw but a little too high Moving on up to second base is Rossica. So Notre Dame got something going with one down, runner in scoring position in the bottom of the first. Yeah, when you you know when you have uh, when you have two great teams like this, breaks are going to make a big difference. Errors, you know, I say it every time I do a softball game. When you have two great teams, you don't win games, you lose them, and uh, you know mistakes usually cost. But yeah, but, Krebs there with the uh, error on on the throw as that one's up high. Anyway, Notre Dame, you know, they, James Angelino takes over, you know, and, and, and Notre Dame comes up with their biggest game of the season to date against Steiner, you know, a, one of the, another state-ranked team. And the Irish come out and take a one nothing win like they're not phased by anything. So you really got to you admire these players. Way up high, a wild pitch that gets past Ali and Rossica up to third base with one away. Well, yeah, almost that's another... Uh, motivating factor maybe for a team when you have a, a change of coach and you have a, a new voice coming and you want to play for right somebody who's got some new eyes on you that's a, up high again three straight missing to Creo. right well James Angelino he, he's been an assistant coach so he's not a totally new voice but yeah I know what you're saying you know you that's in there you got a new head man you know giving the orders and stuff like that um but you know, this Irish team is so good, and Riley Mahalik is just, she's just phenomenal. 3-1 delivery, gloved by Gallucci, and she'll throw home to Ali, and they get Rossica with play. a tag at the plate. Yeah, Rossica got a little hung up right there. You know, she it was right to, <laughs> it, was, it was literally right to Gallucci, like, yeah. in a second, and so there's not much Rossica could do. She was caught off the bag there yeah, so on the just, fielder's choice. Creo is at first. She just tried to make it home and hoped that there might be an errant throw or something. And fouled at the plate. Yeah, we got to watch out. Dueling foul balls here with a baseball game going on over there. <laughs> Dueling WBCB video streams today. Mike Warren over there with the call of uh, Robbinsville. Notre Dame baseball. Uh, we can talk louder than him. <laughs> <laughs> and that's fouled right over their way, just over the backstop and yeah. out of play. He's over there with Joe O'Gorman, right? Yeah. We can we can drown them out. <laughs> All right, so Katie Zilliani now feels like a pretty big spot in the early going. She's out in front of the cleanup hitter. And is set to go. Rocks back and fires the 0-2. And that's lined out to center field. Over for it, though, is Tomlinson. And a well-hit ball, but well played by the Ravens defensively for out number three. So Notre Dame held scoreless in the inning and held without a hit. They do leave a runner on base. And we're still scoreless after one. It's high school softball here from 
Notre Dame High School in Lawrence, New Jersey. We're coming right back on the WBCB Sports Network. Hi, Merrill Reese for Capital Health, reminding you that the former St. Francis Medical Center is now Capital Health East, and they still offer a 24-7 emergency department as well as outpatient medical clinic services. To enter the emergency department and outpatient clinic, please use the Burt Avenue entrance. Capital Health, proud to be a partner for better health in our state's capital, Trenton, New Jersey. This is Merrill Reese reminding you that Haldeman Ford Subaru on Route 33 in Hamilton Township is more than just a great place to purchase a new Ford Subaru or pre-owned car or truck. Their collision and service centers services all makes and models and specializes in fleet service. Haldeman's Collision Center is renowned for their work. It's a state-of-the-art facility. All insurance accepted, free estimates and loaner cars available, and one of the friendliest staffs around. From small dents to major repairs on any make or model, it's Haldeman Ford Subaru Collision Center, Route 33 in Hamilton. Welcome back. Top of the second, Gallucci, Ali, and Robinson for the Robbinsville Ravens to face Mahalik. As we get back to action, and Mahalik fires that one in there for a strike. We mentioned she reached the 600 strikeout plateau, which was awesome. I asked Coach Angelino if they did anything to recognize that. He said, well, it, we're just focusing on winning the games. Yeah. And that is through. Base hit for Gallucci. Gallucci. Sends it out to left, and Stops at first, leadoff runner for the Ravens. Gallucci's hitting 400 coming in here, so she's uh, she's had a hot bat all season. And the Robbinsville that bat's kind of hot coming in. 10 runs against Jackson Memorial, 15 hits in that game. Yep, they're hitting 353 as a team. And that one on the ground, well struck on a couple of oh. bounces. Kakuza picks it up. She tries to throw to first, but wide of the target, and both runners will move up. Wow. Talene Ali to second, Gallucci now to third base. Well, she was trying to hurry because she thought they might have a shot at a double play. And then when she bobbled, she realized she only had one play to first, but she hurried that. And, uh, and it kind of took a, uh, a weird little hop towards the end as well, which I don't think helped. No. Especially, like you said, you're thinking of a double play possibility. Right. Getting this getting the shore out. Now Mahalik's got to bear down. Two in scoring position and throws a first pitch strike to Reagan Robinson. Yeah, Robinson's one of the few hitters that have been struggling this year. This is a big spot for her. She'd like to, she's got four RBIs. I'm sure she'd love to come through here. Takes up high. They want to appeal the swing, but yeah. it looked like she checked it. These are the kind of situations where Riley Mahalik really knows how to bear down. I mean, she's got every pitch in the book. She, she can throw them all for strikes. Lines and fires the 1-1. One, one. And kind of a change of speed right there. Had Robinson off balance. Still looking for the first out here in the top of the second. Are the Irish, the 1-2. Oh. Wow, really pulled the swing, a string on that one and Robinson did a nice job just to slow her swing down and make a little bit of contact, stay alive. Yeah, that's what you call hanging tough. Had some bat control. You're right. She did everything in the world. Felt like it was about five minutes for that swing. One, two, uh -oh. foul ball our direction. And Gus. just over the head of Gus the Bus, our video engineer. Yeah, making a fine effort at that. Good attempt. Yes. Try to get us a souvenir. We older guys made no attempt whatsoever. <laughs> I was just making sure it wasn't going to hit me. Yeah, me too. That's yeah, uh, every man for himself. <laughs> the one, two, again, off the end of the bat, picked up over there by Giampolo, and she'll throw in time to get Reagan Robinson, but on the grounder, Gallucci in to score, and the Ravens are in front, one nothing. Well, nice job by Robinson. I mean, she was nearly struck out on that one-two pitch. She hung in there for it. And then, you know, did, did her job, did what she had to do. Hit the ground ball deep to short, got the run in. Julene Ali had to stay at second. And that one is sent out to left field, but camping under it is Creo. 
makes the grab, and there's two away. Yeah. So a quick uh, <laughs> bat there for Zeliani. I was just going to say that was key, keeping her at second at least, because, you know, you get the third and fly ball would score. And, yeah, look at look what happened. She hit a deep fly ball just then, but it, it didn't mean anything because they, did, they kept Zeliani at second. Or, I'm sorry, Ali at second. At the plate, swing and a miss. Here for Grodsky. Well, each team's made an error. One team has capitalized, the other hasn't. Long way to go. A little foul ball goes out of play. And Mahalik here now can mitigate the damage. They did allow a run. But with two in scoring position here, could see her way now out of the inning if she can get Grodsky. And she's in front of her. Here's the 0-2 delivery. Got her. Swing and a miss. And Robbinsville retired, but they do get the first run of the afternoon. They're in front, 1-0. One, one run. Let's see here. Do we got one hit? One hit? No, no. Oh, yeah, the single to lead off. Yep, yep. Yep. And we got one runner left out there. So we're through an inning and a half. Ravens in front of the Notre Dame Irish. one nothing in high school softball. And today's game brought to you by the Trentonian. Don't forget, if you miss any of today's action, read all about it in tomorrow's edition of the Trentonian. For your complete local and national news seven days a week, it's the Trentonian or online trentonian.com, the only newspaper serving Bucks, Burlington, and Mercer County seven days a week. It's the Trentonian. And if you want to check out uh, an interesting take on the Irish coaching situation. Rick Fortenbaugh's got some stuff in the Trentonian uh, that was uh, kind of eye-opening about the journey that this Irish team is on this season and over the past number of uh, high school softball seasons. Meanwhile, the Trenton Thunder are back, and they're going to get going on Tuesday, June the 4th. You can catch all the fun and excitement. The Trenton Thunder all throughout the summer. Ticket information at TrentonThunder.com. That's TrentonThunder.com. Call 609-394-3300. 609-394-3300. Post-game fireworks nights, Tuesday dollar dog nights, and pork roll Fridays throughout the season. Trenton Thunder Baseball, big league futures, major, major league fun. And uh, my dad's trying to get us all together for faith and family night. Oh, won't that be nice? Get out there. Last year... We attended, but it was it was raining and miserable. I, I forget if the Thunder won or not, but <laughs> that was I, secondary. I, yeah, I was just ready for that one to be over. Oh, line drive that's out to left field and just beyond the reach of Walls. Mazuka stops at second with a stand-up double, and Notre Dame looking to respond after giving up a run in the top of the inning. <laughs> Mazuka wasted a little time jumping on that pitch. Ripped pulled it, it down there, yeah. And she, that's that's good for her. She was hitting 222 coming up, so see if that'll get her going a little bit. Up now is Bianca Passion. She'll try to move her over nope. with a well-placed bunt. And they make the sacrifice as it'll be a 1-4 put out at first base. Pesh retired there, but she advances Mazuko, who's at third base for Grace Antazevich, the catcher for the Irish. Antazevich. And now it's Ziliani who's got to bear down. Antazevich batting 368. Doesn't have an RBI yet, so I'm sure uh, this will be a good time for her to pick one up. Big cut on the first pitch she sees, whiffs at it. You talk about that thunder. I would love to be with a bunch of ermers and see what that's like. <laughs> <laughs> we got ice cream last year. That was exciting. <laughs> okay. I like ice cream. You could wait in line for us. <laughs> no, no. Okay, yeah, We're not going to do you like that. Uh, that's... We all we all ermers. We do everything together. So we all wait in line. We all together. wait in line together. Yeah. So you're the reason the line's Looks so like a long. long line, but yeah. it's not bad actually. It's just ermers. <laughs> 0-2 from Zilliani. Here it comes. Got her. Big strikeout. That's Big out number two out. here in the bottom of the second as they 
have Mizuko at third, and it'll be now up to pitcher Riley Mahalik. Yeah. Riley with a big chance to help herself here. So Coach Angelino mentioned she's at like 602 strikeouts, I yes. think. She has been scuffling at the plate though this year. First one there too, her good eye. Only Didn't miss by much, and uh, maybe a little, uh, I guess they're gonna have a uh, issue with the the towel, hand towel. Mm. So a little equipment adjustment. Here before our 1-0 delivery, here it comes. That's in there. Yeah, the other Irish mindset Coach Angelino mentioned to me is it's a we before me mentality. And although as good as Mahalik's been in the circle, you know, when you have that we mentality, you gotta contribute at the plate. Big right. spot for her right now. And missing right. there, one, two. It's gotta, sometimes it's gotta be me. <laughs> one, two pitch, pokes that one foul. That reminds me of a funny story. I was talking to a father the other day of a kid. And the father is trying to stress to his kid about team ball. And he goes, remember, there's no I in team. And the kid said to him, no, but there's a me. <laughs> <laughs> he must have been ready with that comeback. The I one, two, so. ground ball right back in front of the circle. Ziliani will flip over to Robinson in time to get Mahalik and get her team out of the second. Strand a runner at third base and keep the Irish scoreless. No runs, they do get a double to start the inning, but they leave that runner stranded. And we're through two complete. Notre Dame trailing the Robbinsville Ravens in some high school softball action. One nothing, we're coming right back. WBCB Levittown and Trenton and video stream live at WBCBSports.com your home for the best local sports in Bucks and Mercer counties Chilly today here as the Notre Dame Irish host the Robbinsville Ravens. So I'm bundling up between innings. Yes, the, put on two extra layers. <laughs> Young Mr. Ermer is starting to expand his girth. It's uh, like <laughs> two layers per inning. Is how many layers did you? How many layers did you bring? Uh, not enough for that for the math to work out, but uh, enough hopefully to stay warm. Well, I have a, a, a pullover hoodie on and a zip-up hoodie on. But I may have to run to the car to get a an actual winter coat. Well, Mahalik delivers down low to Canuso as we're back to action, top of the third. Robbinsville in front, one nothing. Canuso batting 417, not bad for a nine batter, huh? Couldn't hold off on a little high heat there from Mahalik. Yeah. Hello, Nate. Good. Nate Always Weber, great to be the here Irish AD, stopping by. I mean, especially when we got two WBCB video streams at the same time. Uh, he likes ours better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking over there. No score in the baseball game as Notre Dame hosting Robbinsville. That's going to be a really good game, too. Two really good teams. Two, I mean, two... Robbinsville baseball and Notre Dame baseball are both very good teams, although the baseball team... Did not play well the other day. We saw them in a a loss to uh, who the heck was that? <laughs> One two pitch, grounded foul by Canuso, hanging tough. 
Oh, I lost to Lawrence. I'm sorry. Sorry, my I, got, I had to say that because the crazy driving me crazy. <laughs> Anyhow, go ahead. That's when you'll be driving home. You'll be like, Yeah, I would have called you. Lawrence. Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> Who, who's this? Lawrence. <laughs> the one two. Ground ball taken by Giampolo. Strong throw in time to get Canuso one down. Solid play there by the Irish. And now up to the top of the lineup, here's shortstop Haley Krebs, who dribbled one back to the circle and handled by Mahalik for a ground out her first time up. Yeah, she, she went out quick. We didn't really have much time to talk about her, but boy, is she a, just a great play, great softball player. Uh, she can she can slap, she's a slap hitter. Yeah, what was this thing? It was like a Trenton Hall of Fame. Um, is it a scholarship? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's some kind of yeah. They give out high school. They induct guys and and uh, guys and girls. Right. And they give out uh, the various scholarships to the players, to the high school players in the county. It's nice. All right, in front of another batter here is Mahalik. Winds and fires the 0-2 a little bit late, but Krebs. It would have hang tough. Krebs came in. She's batting five. Well, I guess she's at 500. No, she's still over 500. 12 for 22. So she was 571. Yeah, definitely the uh, Ravens have really been powered by some strong offense. 0-2. Absolutely. Fouled back there towards the baseball diamond. And the count holds for Krebs. I mean, and you want to keep her off the bases because she has eight stolen bases. Got Walls and Tomlinson to follow. Surprisingly, she's only she scored seven runs. That's not that doesn't lead the team. Oh, Grounded here, Kakuza, just in time, <laughs> and a, a groan from Krebs, who thought maybe she got it, but uh, she yeah. saw that uh, the throw beat her just by a a, a, a touch. Yeah, she it, it did. A half she step. She made that exciting. Even her reaction was kind of exciting. Two yes. down. <laughs> well, we're easily entertained here. Two up, two down for Walls, who grounded one over to first base. Walls is heading for Fairfield University next year to play softball. So she'll be Mac. She'll come down here and play against Ryder. Steps through that one for strike two. She was Robbinsville's sports Sportswoman of the Year. I forget the exact title for it, but, you know. Uh, that is quite an accomplishment. Yeah, she was honored for. 0-2. Uh, Up high and Walls lays off. Oh, no. She went. <laughs> okay, I guess so. It's a called strike, and the tag is applied to complete the third out here in the top of the third. So another 1-2-3 inning for Mahalik. Sets him down in order, no runs, no hits, nobody left on. Still a one nothing game as we are through two and a half innings of high school softball. And I think that means I gotta let you know about some of the great sponsors making portions of today's game possible. We would like to hear that. Yeah, Trentonian, we love them. And the Italian People's Bakery, proud to support high school sports on the WBCB Sports Network. Check out their signature location, 63 Butler Street for the finest rolls, deli meats and pastries. And after the game, stay with us. We'll have our Italian People's Bakery player of the game. They get to take a certificate over to their signature location, 63 Butler Street in Chambersburg, and get hooked up with an awesome Italian People's Bakery hoagie. And we thank the IPB for their long support of high school sports on WBCB with spots in New Jersey and Pennsylvania, the finest dessert trays around, great hoagies, Again, that signature spot, 63 Butler Street in Chambersburg, the Italian People's Bakery since 1936. Right, the pride of Chambersburg, I think, is uh, one of their one of their mottos or exactly one of their things. I'll tell you, one of the pride of Chambersburg, and a lot of people around here still know him, even though he left in 1989. Former Trentonian sports writer Dennis Mathisoli. Just retired from his job down in Florida, and a lot of you guys remember Maff, hard worker and uh, legend down there in Florida now. 
First pitch popped up, ranging back is Krebs and catches the pop-up off the bat of Addison Louderback. And a quick out for the Irish in the bottom of the third. But Dennis was from the Chambersburg, that's why I mentioned that. He was big involved in the Chambersburg Little League and all that other stuff. And when he retired, they made a big deal out of it. They uh, they let him throw out the first pitch at a, at a, at a uh, I forget who it was. Spring training game and oh nice yeah they had a TV crew following him around from a local news station uh, on his last game that he covered <laughs> oh one pitch fouled off and Ziliana Ziliani jumps in front of Kakuza and you know that's the kind of who knows maybe he's streaming the action on WBCB <laughs> I mean, maybe if he is hey Matt our reach now is worldwide and yes. uh, people who are interested in Mercer County sports good spot for it. Swing and a miss, and the ball gets out of the glove of Ali, so she's got to tag Kakuza. Oh, I get Chris, you'd be surprised. I get people on Facebook that, you know, that I'm friends with that moved away, and, you know, I get people, yeah, oh, we're listening down here in Georgia. You know, we're listening in uh, Florida. We're listening here. You know, that's. Yeah, we need to increase our local listenership. Yeah, yeah. We hear from all these. Exactly. Uh, they can't go to the Italian People's Bakery, yeah. unfortunately, down in Florida. Maybe they can get something delivered. I don't know how that works. That could be. Swing and a miss by Giampolo. As Notre Dame back to the top of the lineup, 0-1. Off the end of the bat, little pop-up. And Caduso able to make the grab. A 1-2-3 inning authored by Katie Zilliani as she sets the Irish down with no runs, no hits, and nobody left on in the bottom of the third inning. So we are through three complete, and it's the Ravens in front of Notre Dame, one nothing. High school softball action here on the WBCB Sports Network. A chew, <coughs> ow, that hurts. School nurses are frontline providers, whether it's a bump or a scrape on the playground or staffing testing booths in the height of the pandemic. May is School Nurses Month. NJEA members honor the important role that school nurses have to ensure schools are safe and healthy for our kids. New Jersey schools are number one in the nation because they prepare students to be successful in school and in life. This message sponsored by the New Jersey Education Association and WBCB. 1490 WBCB, Levittown and Trenton, and video stream live at WBCBSports.com. Your home for the best local sports in Bucks and Mercer Counties. All right, welcome back. Top of the fourth, Robbinsville to send Tomlinson, Gallucci, and Ali. And Riley Mahalik here in the inning, and this is the part of the lineup that generated the only run so far today. Yep. Well, Thompson grounded out to start the inning, but after that, things got things got dicey for Notre Dame. And a well-struck bunt, and oh. safe is the call. Kaitlin Rossica played it pretty well, picked it up, and threw over, and uh, I'm not sure if the uh, the foot might have been off the bag if the throw was just a touch late, but safe is the call, and Tomlinson with a bunt base hit. Yep. Well, I'm Kyle, Kyle Franco's giving me a, he gave me a little bit of a look like he wasn't sure about that, that call. About yeah, up well. at the plate now is Sorella Gallucci. Everybody's a critic. <laughs> So Pilgrim, Riley Mahalik has 600 strikeouts. Do you think she's close to the Mercer County record? <laughs> <laughs> and the pitch, runner goes. Nice throw. Good throw. And tagged out, caught stealing is Tomlinson, one down. Nice job by Anasevich. Yep. You know, I'm gonna guess by the way you asked that question, <laughs> that she is not close. No. To, uh, <laughs> very good, very good instincts by you. I'm guessing that there there may be somebody who might be up in the four digit range. You you you're getting better and better. Yeah, jeez, I want to play, I want to play Wheel of Fortune with you the way you sort I'm, of. I'm only good this. at like guesstimating, <laughs> not actually getting well, things the, right. You are right. The record is a thousand eighty four by Melissa Hodge of Hamilton West. 
Swing and a miss by Gallucci at the plate, and she is a strikeout victim. There's two down here in the top of the fourth for she, catcher Tulin Ali. She pitched Hamilton to a state championship, and that, that Hamilton team was what you would call offensively challenged. <laughs> Melissa when, you, when you get that kind of pitching, you yeah. don't need a whole lot of runs. Yeah, exactly. Scratch one out and <laughs> watch her strike everybody out. Kind of goes back to our Trentonian pregame show where you talked about good pitching. Sometimes you can be around for a while, and especially when you have a team that doesn't have a lot of offense going. Mm -hmm. Called strike there to Ali. Nice pitch by Mahalik, and she jumps in front of another batter. Yeah, pitching is, I mean, they say, you know, they talk about pitching being big in baseball. It's even bigger in softball. 0-2 blows that past Ali. Two strikeouts in the fourth. And sets Robbinsville down in order. No runs, no hits, and nobody left on through three and a half innings. It's still the Ravens in front by the narrowest margin. A 1-0 lead. High school softball on WBCB brought to you by the Trenton Thunder. They're back for the 2024 season beginning Tuesday, June 4th. Catch all the fun and excitement of Thunder action throughout the summer. Ticket information, visit TrentonThunder.com. That's TrentonThunder.com. Call 609-394-3300. 609-394-3300. Postgame fireworks nights, dollar dog nights, pork roll Fridays through the season. Trenton Thunder Baseball, big league futures, major league fun. Yeah, we are in pork roll country right now. <laughs> yes, we are. And car buying made simple at Hyundai of Trenton, 1655 North Olden Avenue, Ewing Township. Over 100 new Hyundai models from Elantras and Sonatas to SUVs like the Hyundai Santa Fe, Tucson, and Palisade, including hybrid models, Hyundai of Trenton. The inventory including a huge selection of pre-owned certified vehicles, no market adjustments on any car in stock, and you get an extra $1,000 rebate trade-in value towards any new vehicle. Hyundai of Trenton, they'll buy your vehicle even if you don't purchase a car. Fast payment, top dollar paid. Hyundai of Trenton, car buying made simple, and the area's fastest growing dealership at 1655 North Olden Avenue in Ewing Township. We thank them for helping to make portions of today's game possible. Irish with the bats here on the bottom of the fourth. And a short little pop-up that's about a foot foul down the first baseline. And no play there for Robinson or Ali. Gave it a try, but another chance here for Kaylin Rossica now down 0-1. Yeah, that didn't get high enough up the elevator shaft, as he say. I mean, somebody says that, right? <laughs> Sounds like a, a thing people say. Yeah. <laughs> In there for a strike to Rossica. It's got Madalena Creo and Emma Marchese on deck here. People just walking around the streets talking about balls up the elevator shaft. <laughs> o2 stays alive as she tips that one foul. We will... Uh, we will have more of this great Mercer County softball next Friday night when Steiner visits Robbinsville's Tannum Field a week from tomorrow. 0-2 oh, mm. down low, rolls that one up there. That's a 6 o'clock game. I thought you were going to say more elevator shaft talk. Nah, that comes later. <laughs> <laughs> you got to pick your spots for the shaft. 1-2 <laughs> delivery up high. And the count evens to Kaylin Rossica. So we got the heart of the Irish lineup. They're looking to get even. They've sent a runner around a third, but that's as far as they've gotten so far this afternoon. Here's Ziliani's 2-2 up high. And we have not had a lot of deep counts. Isn't this Madeline Crea? Kaylin Rossica popped out to end Oh, the, excuse me, Crea, yeah. yes, yes, yes. That's important. <laughs> You're only human, Sorry pal. about that, folks. <laughs> Ground ball down the third baseline, gloved by Gallucci. Her oh. throw across the diamond is not quite in time. Madalena Creo beats the throw, and it's an infield base hit for the Irish to get the fourth inning going. A heck of an effort. Gallucci, yeah. yeah. Oh, to glove man. it, pop back up again, and make a, a strong throw. And 
didn't miss by much, about a half a step. That's what was impressive. She, I mean, she gloved it backhand, and you're right. I mean, she hit the ground and came right back up throwing and made a good throw. Just, just and not in time. And Marchese takes up high for ball one. Well, we've had a well-played game so far. It's the Ravens with that one nothing advantage. Irish trying to get something going. That's popped up, but foul and no play as it lands near the dugout. That's been well played, but the only run is unearned, actually. Well, an error, but for the most part, yeah, they're making all the plays, which you expect when these two teams play. The 1-1, one, one. a bunt, Gallucci, on it quickly, throws to first in time to get the runner there, but Creo advances, so Notre Dame sacrificing the runner into scoring position, and there's one away for Kara Mazuko, who ripped a double when she got her first at-bat today. Yep. Had the best contact of the afternoon so far. Ah, for sure, first pitch swinging too, wasn't it? Didn't, shouldn't she take that first pitch? Rope it down the line. And here it takes the first pitch. Huh? They didn't like that one. But the umpire did. <laughs> it's starting so, to get a little more windy here, pal. Oh, one that time. Going for something down low. Zilliani really likes that one. Chase that. And puts her in front of Mizuko. 0 2 pitch. A little high. Ravens fans with some oohs and ahs. There. Yeah. That was close. Mizuko doesn't offer a very big strike zone, so. She's ready for the 1 2. And that's fouled straight back. Pesky. Kind of a hallmark of this Irish team, 6-0. and and Some of those have been close games, the 1-2. Ooh, right there, a little off-speed stuff from Zilliani. Strikes out Karamazuko for the second out in the bottom of the fourth, a big one. Now up to bat is Bianca Pesh. Well, Notre Dame, you, know, you want to play these close games, I mean, you know, and you want to play some good teams because Notre Dame plays in non-public A in their section, and that's just a meat grinder. Yeah, they really have to cool. um, kind of gear up you got the, some for of the, a postseason run when it's against some really tough schools. Yeah, I mean, yeah, potentially two, you know, three or four of the top ten teams in the state in that with Donovan Catholic, St. John Vianney, uh, Notre Dame and St. Thomas Aquinas when their pitcher's healthy. Their pitcher's been struggling a little bit with arm problems. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss. And chase something down low. And that's why it's good to face when you have good Mercer County competition like the Irish or like Robbinsville, like Steinert. Yeah. The 1-2. Grounded down the third baseline, but foul. Zilliani ready to go. Her one two delivery fouled towards the parking lot. No, it's just Nearly hits a passing big. motorist. This is a form that Melissa Hodge did not win a state championship. Another pitcher did. Oh, it's well. A, it's all about accuracy. <laughs> the one, two. Off the end of the bat, right back in front of the circle. Zilliani picks it up and flips in time to get Pesh. So Notre Dame gets a runner in scoring position, but still scoreless today. No runs. They do get a hit in the inning, and they leave that runner stranded. And now we are through four innings of high school softball and the Ravens holding on to that one nothing lead 
Today's game on WBCB brought to you by the Trentonian. We thank them for their support. Thanks also to the Trenton Thunder coming back on June the 4th. And as I was saying last time, uh, the new Hyundai of Trenton is at 1655 North Olden Avenue, and it's car buying made simple. They got all the new Hyundai models, over 100 new Hyundai models from Elantras and Sonatas to SUVs like the Hyundai Santa Fe, the Tucson, the Palisade, including hybrid models, Hyundai of Trenton, inventory, like a huge selection of pre-owned certified vehicles. They don't do that market adjustment thing. They don't do that on any car in stock, and you can get an extra $1,000 rebate trade-in value towards any new vehicle. I'm talking about Hyundai of Trenton. They will buy your vehicle even if you don't purchase a car. Fast payment, top dollar paid for your car. Hyundai of Trenton, car buying made simple and the area's fastest growing dealership at 1655 North Olden Avenue in Ewing Township. And swing and a miss at the plate for Reagan Robinson. Robinson's got the only RBI of this game so far with a ground out back in the second. Robinson to be followed by Ziliani and Krodsky here in the top of the fifth. Mahalik checks the wristband and fires missing down low. Not as many people here as I thought there would be today, but I think the weather's got a little something to do with that. I think yeah. it's just if there's a nice sunny day, you'd see all these people in the outfield. Overcast today, high temperatures according to the 1490 forecast getting up to 53 degrees, but feels like it's uh, in the 40s right yeah. now. Yeah, the wind doesn't make it feel like it's 53. And there one, is no sun. One, two pitch, mm -hmm. swing and a miss, gets past Antozevich. She'll throw down to first in time to complete the strikeout. Robinson was on the move, but couldn't get there in time. And there's one away in the top of the fifth. So what do I got? One, two, three, four strikeouts today for Mahalik. Uh, What's your count? One, two, three, four, five. Five. Yes. One. one I'm, I'm the, always missing something. <laughs> one in the second, one in the third, two in the fourth, one in the fifth. Is that what you had? Ziliani starts with a strike. As Mahalik rocks back and delivers. Catches the strike zone. Jumps in front, 0 and 2. Day off for the Philadelphia Phillies, WBCV. Your spot on the radio for all the Phillies action. And 0 2 foul ball. Whenever we get here to uh, Notre Dame High School, Joe Drulis always. Um, <laughs> Either sporting a Phillies cap or oh, yeah. talking about some Phillies baseball. Yeah, Jules is a Philly guy. Head coach of the Notre Dame baseball team. Well, I'm happy for the... 0-2. Pull oh, the string nice off pitch. speed stuff from Mahalik and gets Ziliani looking and starts the top of the fifth with two strikeouts. At least this is one, one miserable night that... Phillies fans don't have to sit out and watch the, the game. <laughs> it's been enough of those nights already. Talking about Irish baseball, they are scoreless as they host the Ravens today. And now Mahalik works to Grodsky, who she struck out her first time at the plate. around back behind the circle fires that one in there Alec is uh, starting to find something because she has struck out four straight now she's up 0-2 on Grodsky and again checks that uh, wristband and then fires away good pitch right there maybe trying to get Grodsky to chase something down low One, two, swing and a miss. Five in a row. Strikes out the side in the top of the fifth. Another one, two, three inning offer, authored by Riley Mahalik. And
And so we go to the bottom of the fifth in a one nothing game, Robbinsville in front of Notre Dame. And today's game on WBCB made possible by Jammer Doors and Windows. Spring is here, time to view the world through Jammer Doors, a family owned and operated local business since Babe Ruth started playing for the Yankees in 1920. That's how far back Jammer Doors goes. And they continue to swat home run sales, service and installation of garage doors and openers, entry doors, patio doors, storm doors, and Jammer Doors features Raynor garage doors, steel or aluminum, and crafted for dependable, long-lasting service. You know, you really need to have a good garage door, especially if you have a teenager. I remember, uh, <laughs> like, Why is that? tennis balls up against the garage door, <laughs> okay. throwing baseballs up against, playing, playing uh, like, wall ball. No, so, is that, that's not part of your... Uh, no, I, I, uh, I, I never gave that much thought. Of growing up. I always thought, it, well, yeah, growing up, I guess you're right, but that was so long ago that I forgot that we. <laughs> you got to throw stuff against the garage door. Yeah, we used to have the. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're out there playing some basketball hoops or something. Yeah, basketball definitely. Yeah, they cl well, crash jam into the door. Jammer doors. They do a great job with all that stuff. Also, it seems like if you got a, an athlete in your your household, maybe you're breaking windows and stuff like that too, and mm -hmm. jammer doors can hook you up with all that kind of stuff. Line drive out to center field, but Tomlinson is there and squeezes it for out number one in the bottom of the fifth. Tomlinson, a cool customer out there. So one down and up steps pitcher Riley Mahalik. Whoop. What? Yep, yep, what, you, yep, what are you yep. whooping? <laughs> I think I got things mixed up with her number and. No, I think you're right. Uh, this is Riley Cunningham. Yes. So then I got mixed up because people were saying, way to go, Riley. Yeah. But this is a different Riley. <laughs> I got you. Pinch hitter Riley Cunningham at the plate for the Irish. Bats with nobody on, one down, bottom of the fifth. And her team trailing. Only run of the day so far coming from the Ravens in the second inning. Cunningham just five at bat so far this year, looking for her first hit. Once it foul. Maybe trying to use her speed to get aboard, but. Yeah, she does have a stolen base. Couldn't keep that one fair. Katie Ziliani, she, she watched another bunt. Another bunt, this one. Off the end of the bat foul. She's watching M Riley Mahalik really start to pick up the pace. So <laughs> Katie Ziliani knows every pitch, every batter is really important now. And for Notre Dame, just to get some base runners out there, they have not had a lot of action on the base paths. Well, actually, they've had yeah. somebody on in three of the four innings. Yeah. But um, they've had two they runners had... get to third and a runner. Yeah, they actually. But they've had just one on in each of those innings. Yeah. So Ziliani has had a little traffic out there, but worked through it. And here's her one-two delivery to Cunningham. Wide for ball two. So Cunningham at the plate, louder back in the circle. I mean, Ziliani's biggest threat was when Zuko hit that leadoff double. The two-two, a little pop-up to Canuso at second, and she gobbles that one up. There's two down. And Mizuko hit the leadoff double, got sacrificed to third with one out. Ziliani bared down, got the strikeout, and then a ground out to back to her. Right now, Ziliani is pitching a gem. She's got two down here in the fifth, has kept the Irish scoreless, and pours a strike in there to Louderback. They're both pitching gems. <laughs> this is... Uh... As you said, the only run is an unearned run today. Yeah, they're, they're, they're living up to their billing right now. A one delivery fouled off. And this time it's Ziliani jumping in front of batters. She's been prone to more deep counts than Mahalik. Yeah. Here working to the nine hole hitter. She may just come right after 0-2. She uh, a little low. she has run some deep counts, but she hasn't walked anybody yet. Go, 
Ziliani rocks back. One, two, poked foul. Ball goes up into the tree. It looked like the Plinko game from The Price is Right. You, you like Plinko? <laughs> no, I, I don't think I've ever seen it. What? No, I haven't watched The Price is Right. Oh, my goodness. I am sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they even had something. They had like a Plinko promotion at the Sixers game, I think. I've heard of it. Yeah. Okay. I just don't know what it is. One, two. Foul ball. Well, next before the next time we get together, I want you to Google play. I will. I will. I, I will definitely do that. <laughs> I mean, just for your own benefit. I got, well, Put a smile on your face. Will it make my life? Will it enhance my life in many ways? <laughs> <laughs> One, two. Poked out to center field. And Tomlinson, as you said, Fish, a cool customer and... Good footwork out there. Gets under that one, makes the catch for out number three. And you know what I was impressed by just then? She she caught it and got it back into the infield so quick. There wasn't a base runner on or anything. But, I mean, she it was incredible the way she got it from her glove and got it in in a matter of, like, a split second. Well, through five innings now, and the Robbinsville Ravens in front, one nothing for the Irish there. No runs, no hits, and nobody left on another one, two, three inning authored by pitcher Katie Ziliani and uh, we got a pitcher stool going on. We're coming back with inning number six here in just a moment. This is Angela Weiner for your Mercer County Prosecutor, and I'd like to take this opportunity to wish all of our Mercer County student athletes the best of luck, and also urge parents to stay involved in your children's school activities. Extracurricular events are a great way to keep your sons and daughters focused, and it does not have to be athletics. They can be involved with the drama club, the school band, even the debate team. An involved student today has a brighter future tomorrow. This message is brought to you by the Mercer County Prosecutor's Office, and I hope you enjoy today's game. All right, back here on the campus of Notre Dame High School. Got some high school softball going for you on WBCB. Also, the high school baseball game. Sounded like there was some hollering and cheering over there about something, but I don't see any action on the scoreboard. No. So maybe it was about keeping Robbinsville scoreless over there for the Irish. As we go to the top of the sixth, and Mahalik pours a strike in there to Lucy Canuso. Canuso bounced out the short her first time up. Mahalik with another strike. Talk about going into the bag of tricks. That was uh, kind of something off speed. Looked like it had a little bit of movement on it. She struck out the last five Ravens hitters she's faced. And that's lined that right streak. up the middle. Rope that right up the middle. Canuso sends it to center field. And she stops at first. A base hit for the Ravens to get the sixth started. We'll see how the Ravens play it here. See if they bun it and let Krebs try to slap one. I mean, Krebs as a lefty too is the has the kind of speed and um, could bunt for a base hit here. You're not just giving up a, a batter necessarily with a sacrifice. Right. James Angelino coming out to the mound. Yeah, for the Ravens, back to the top of the lineup. You oh, got Krebs, Walls, and Tomlinson. Did you see that ball just come over from the baseball field? <laughs> I missed it. I, I looked think down at my score ball. sheet for a moment. Yeah, I see it over there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the dangers of a dual game at Notre Dame with these fields right next to each other. Well, they have some strategic netting up, but... Yeah, but maybe not a little enough. more. Maybe a little more strategic <laughs> netting. Yeah, I think you're right. Maybe some down this first base line. Uh, but bunting. attempt foul by Krebs. Boy, in Notre Dame would, or Robbinsville would absolutely love to pick up another run here. Absolutely. Holding on, the only run scored in the second. Let's see if they bunt again, or yeah, uh, uh, she pulls. She does show bunt, but pulls it back. Kind of stepping up there in that slap style. Yep. And able to tuck that bat back at the last second. A 1-1 one, one count to Krebs. Mahalik looks into the dugout. 
Gets her pitch. A Good grounder run. right back to the circle. Mahalik fields it well and throws over to get Krebs, but a good bunt because the sacrifice. Absolutely. Successful Canuso Krebs up to second. Job. And that big situation for Caroline Wells. Or Walls. Walls over two so far. Yep. Came in batting 333. And bounces that one right back to Mahalik. A nice glove there by the pitcher. And throws over to get Walls. But good base running by Canuso is on the grounder. She took off right away and she's at third with two down. Time a little uh, nifty glove work there yep. by the Halleck, using those kind of instincts and good reflexes. And there pours in a strike to Tomlinson. Yep. Well, we've been talking about Tomlinson's outfield play, and she's also tied for the team lead in RBIs with eight. Had a base hit her last time up. And Again, that insurance run at third base. Lifts, it, lifts this one into the air, but Kakuza at second base is there. And kind of a weak little liner by Tomlinson. She is retired, and so are the Ravens in the top of the sixth. So no runs, they do get one base hit, and they leave a runner on base, a runner stranded at third. We go to the bottom of the sixth. High school softball on BCB. Ravens in front, one zip. Italian People's Bakery bringing you portions of today's game. And after the action, join us as we'll be talking to our IPB player of the game. The Italian People's Bakery proud to support high school sports on WBCB. Check out their signature location, 63 Butler Street for the finest rolls, deli meats, and pastries. Drive by, smell the homemade bread at Italian People's Bakery, 63 Butler Street. And uh, since 1936, the pride of Chambersburg. Got some papers blowing around here. This, we got clouds, and it's not that warm out here, but this weather is way better than the last time I was out for WBCB Sports. We were over on the other side of the river in Bucks County, and it was like the rain was coming in sideways. Um, <laughs> That's it was, worst. It, it was brutal. <laughs> that is brutal. And the rain was hard at times, but it, it was right at the point where, like, they almost postponed the game, but they kept playing. Right. I mean, we, we got it in, but um, I'm kind of feeling like I'm feeling like I'm in the tropics in the, compared to that <laughs> today. And, and Yeah, it's beautiful, balmy out here. It ain't quite tropical, that's for sure. <laughs> Kakuza at the plate for the Irish and takes one down low, a ball and a strike to her. That's frustrating, man, when you have a, you have overhead cover, but yeah, we the, had a the rain up. is slanting. Uh, the, the table was covered with water. 1-1. <laughs> <laughs> one, one. Yeah, it was, yeah we, we had strategic umbrella placement, too. <laughs> Gus had, like, three umbrellas in his car. So <laughs> Gus and... Three one umbrellas. The, one of the students was holding an umbrella. Yeah, he comes prepared. <laughs> I would say. The 2-1 in there from Zilliani. He's like the penguin in Batman. Wasn't he big with the umbrellas? <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, excuse me, I got, got a correction again. Giampola at the plate here. Grounds that one to third. Gloved by Gallucci. Nice throw in time. Gallucci's so. had some, she's had to make some quick throws over there today. And the one, she had a diving stop. Her yeah. throw was just a touch late on that play, but she has been great over there at the hot corner. And that brings up Kaylin Rossica with one away, nobody on, bottom of the sixth. Actually, I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, no, no, she had, she had a fielder's choice. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she's had a bunch. She had to field a bunt. One zero from Zilliani wide. Zilliani really doesn't want to walk anybody. That's for sure. Yeah, the Ravens got a runner to third in the top of the sixth, but still only able to plate that one run so far today. The two zero. That's a strike. 
Looked like Rossica maybe taking a pitch, trying to work her way on with a base on balls if possible. 2-1. Sharply hit ground ball through on the left side. And that's a way to get yourself on base. A that solid is. base hit for Rossica. So with one down, she's at first. And here is Madalena Creo. Creo one for two. She reached safely both times she's been up with a fielder's choice and had a base hit. Her last plate appearance. And a tip, tipped the ball into the glove of Ali for strike one. That lifts Roska's average up to 320. Oh, one delivery, the runner goes, the throw is low, mm -hmm. and sliding safely into second is Kaylin Rossica. Big stolen base for the Irish to put a runner in scoring position with one down. You are not kidding, my friend. Very big stolen base. All right, so we got a baseball game and a softball game here at Notre Dame, and between the two of them, just one run scored so far. 0-2 <laughs> oh, pitch, who did not miss by much, but a good take by Creo. Ziliani still confident and delivers yep. that one two uh -oh. that's popped this could be trouble. foul and nah. fortunately just misses a windshield. Yeah, just kind of went between two cars and <laughs> pinballed back and forth a little bit. And talk about Ziliani, you know, um, Coach Levering saying she is just as confident as she has ever been. A, a significant part of this Ravens team for four years and Absolutely. feeling as strong as ever. The one two fouled away and this one uh -oh. also uh -oh. heading towards <laughs> the parking lot. Oh. They, they, sh they should set up a uh, like the, the foul ball zone. <laughs> they do. They yeah. have signs out there. Beware of foul balls. <laughs> One, two. Taken out to left on a line and right to Walls who is there defensively. That jumped off the bat, didn't it? Yes, it did. But the catch <laughs> is made and there's two away here in the bottom of the sixth. And now up to bat is Emma Marchese. Ziliani now talking about confident, maybe feeling a little more confident here as things play out in this inning. Yep, but you, I mean, the margin for error is like non-existent, so. Uh, yeah, runner in scoring position in a one-run game. You don't want to get overconfident. The 1-0 lifted up into the air and to right field, and Alderelli is there to catch the pop-up for out number three. It's her first action of the day out there. So Notre Dame, they threaten get a runner in scoring position in the bottom of the sixth. But again, come away without a run. Still trailing one nothing to the Robbinsville Ravens. After six innings, you got high school softball coming your way here on the WBCB Sports Network. Capital Health's primary care network continues to grow, bringing its extensive option of locations to your neighborhood. Whether you're scheduling a wellness checkup or not feeling well, advanced medicine starts with a Capital Health primary care doctor at locations near you in Mercer, Bucks, and Burlington counties. To find a Capital Health primary care location that's convenient for you, visit capitalmedicalgroup.org. That's capitalmedicalgroup.org. All right, it's going to be Sorella Gallucci, Tulene Ali, and Reagan Robinson up to bat for the Ravens in the top of the seventh. A one-run game. And Robbinsville knows it's really would like to get another run. As good as Zarelli's pitching. You know, we talked or, about the rankings before this game, Fish, and how Steiner and Notre Dame was such a big game. I mean, both those teams were ranked highly. I mean, this would be one of those games where the Ravens would um, – and a win quite a bit of uh, recognition. Well, I mean, it, it, it's... And that's well hit out to right field. 
turning around louder back, but she makes the adjustment and the catch. Uh, uh, Scalucci gave it a ride, but there's one down. I can just tell you that in the Trentonian area rankings, Rick Fortenbaugh's rankings, Notre Dame is number one and Robbinsville is number three with Steiner being in the middle. So that could mix some of that. Uh, up yeah, a bit. If, if things stay the same, but hey, there's a, there's another half inning to go. <laughs> when teams are this good, you got to get all 21 outs before you can no start question. celebrating, and especially when it's this close. And That's it, what I'm saying. It, yeah, only run uh, scoring in the second and an unearned run. The 0-1 yeah. pitch. Scoring Ali couldn't hold off on that one. Little trickery there by Mahalik. <laughs> Pulled the string, as they say. As they say. I've never seen that string, but nah. <laughs> that's because they pull it. <laughs> <laughs> it goes away. O2. Ground ball down the first baseline off the glove of Marchese. And safe at first is Tulin Ali. Hit it pretty well. Yeah, but that but ball's gotta be fielded. That's gonna be an E3. Yep. And Ali at first with one away for Robinson. Ali's reached twice on an error now. And the first time she reached on an error was a two base error that allowed the, what is right now the go ahead run uh, on third base, go to third base. Right. <clears throat> Got Gallucci over there to third who eventually scored on Reagan Robinson's ground ball. And it's Robinson at the plate right now for the Ravens as they look for a little more in the top of the seventh. And she'll lay a oh. bunt down, goes off of the glove of Rossica, oh. but she's able to recover and still get Robinson at first base. That's a heck of a recovery wow. right there. Because you got you're you're kind of fumbling around with that ball and then you know, you, you can panic a little bit. That's and a huge second out. It does get Ali to second base. Yeah, it did its job. But almost looked like that was going to be either an error or a base hit on the bunt. And now with two down, here's Zilliani. Yeah, Zilliani would love to give herself a little pad here, a little padding. Mahalik set 0-1. Fouled back off the backstop, and Zilliani falls behind. So Mahalik has let up, a, has had a couple of base runners. She said either it's a one, two, three inning or a little action on the bases, like in the second, in yeah. the fifth, or three in the sixth. Yep. And now here in the seventh, the runner at second base, her 2 Fouled high into the air and out of play. Way over the Plinko tree. <laughs> ah, the Plinko tree. High over the Plinko tree <laughs> here at Notre Dame High School. <laughs> so another 0 2 coming from Mahalik. Oh. Oh, off speed. <laughs> Talk about and pulling the string. <laughs> Ziliani couldn't hold off. She strikes her out for out number three in the top of the seventh. So last chance time now for Notre Dame. They trail 1-0 to the Robbinsville Ravens as we head to the bottom of the seventh. And we'll let you know that the Trenton Thunder on board helping to make portions of today's game possible. They're gonna get their new season underway on June the 4th. It feels like you gotta wait a while to get to that Thunder baseball. Yeah. And you can get ticket information at trentonthunder.com, which is kind of good for us. Mike Warren, the voice of the Trenton Thunder, able to do some high school baseball like he's covering the Robbinsville Irish ball game that we got on BCB. Yes. But the Thunder, they got the Dollar Dog Nights on Tuesdays, Pork Roll Fridays, that's all throughout the season. The Trenton Thunder, Big League Futures, Major League Fun. Last year, the Thunder had the Bananas come to town. Did you happen to get a ticket for I did Banana not, ball. but I would love to see them. I mean, I hear nothing but great things about them. I think they're, I think they're going to try to do Citizens Bank Park yes, this year. Yes, they are. And there, I think the ticket's probably a little bit more attainable. Um, I don't know, Banana Ball was well, a big success hope. for the Thunder, though. That's for sure. I mean, I have a Philly season ticket plan, and usually any event that goes on there, they give us first dibs at, like, concert tickets and stuff. 
I would hope they might yeah, do we'll the see same the, for the, the bananas. bananas. They make their own rules, though. Oh, is that what it is? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. That's, <laughs> that's kind of what it seemed like uh, oh, to some degree. That's what uh, Mike Warren said. He said they came in and it just took over. <laughs> exactly. uh, the they took Thunder over Stadium. banana style. <laughs> yeah. All right, bottom of the seventh and first pitch swinging. Sending that one high up into the air. A pop-up on the infield for Mazuko. And it's caught one down. And I don't need Play to tell by Krebs. I don't need to tell anybody either, but getting that first out in the last inning of a one run game is paramount. And pardon me, I think that was that was Gallucci on the catch. But that is a huge paramount. Paramount out number one. Uh, yes. Yeah, something mount. <laughs> And a first pitch to Bianca Pesh is fouled off. So Ziliani up 0-1. Off the end of the bat, a little spinner. And it goes foul down the first baseline. Ziliani, she's got to be feeling it right now. I mean, this would be... Huge win, probably yeah. biggest win of the season for the Robbinsville Ravens as that's fouled away. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. I mean, they beat St. Thomas Aquinas, but like I said, they didn't have their best pitcher uh, pitching. And really, in some respect, right, when you're a senior, it's your senior season, you're in the circle. This might be one of the biggest wins of her softball career. 0-2 Ooh, look fouled away. <laughs> Uh, it could. I mean, they've, I'd have to look back at that. They've had some, you know, state games, some big state games, and county games and things like that. Um, and, and then you also say, well, this game also will take on a different significance if this season has a, a, a success. You can look back on this win maybe as yeah. a big turning point for the Ravens. I don't know if you would call it a turning point. I mean, they're already doing good. But it could maybe it could kick them into that next level of confidence, gotcha. so to speak, you know? An afterburner. Uh, yeah. yeah. The afterburner. Well, yeah. Hey, look, let's not, let's not – Put this Ground in the book ball, yet. Absolutely not grounded. Krebs has it. Her throw is in time. And there's two away here in the bottom of the seventh. Down and now one. it's up to Grace Antasevich. Well, the uh, secret to Zuliani so far today is pitching to contact. She has, she only has one, two. Three, she hasn't walked anybody four, still, right? No. Four Ks. Neither pitcher's walked anybody. I mean, it's been great control. Um, she's only got four strikeouts, but, you know, she's made big pitches when she's had to. Her 0-1 delivery. Misses, and it's a 1-1 count. Here, Antasevich. With Mahalik, she's got a bat again as she waits on deck. 1-1. Uh-oh. Sent uh -oh. out to center. It's deep. And the catch is made along the fence by Tomlinson. She has been great defensively and comes up with the play of the game. Chris, it was almost like we foreshadowed it, talking about her and how smooth she is out there and everything else. And, I mean, she put on the burners there. And that ball almost popped out, if you noticed. But she hung on. What a what an exciting ending to an absolutely great game. And Tomlinson, I mean, you got to have the glove work sometimes. She had it there, and uh, <laughs> and her biggest fan right now is Katie Ziliani, who she yep. helps to secure the big win over the Irish with that great defense in center field. So I don't know. You think that one was? Did she save the home run? Would that have been up against the fence? I don't know. I don't think so. Angle, I think that was against the fence, but it was at least two bases. So uh, the Ravens win it one nothing over the Notre Dame Irish, and uh, we're going to step aside, take care of a couple of quick messages, and we'll see. Maybe we can bring Tomlinson over as our Italian People's Bakery Player of the Game. I'll send, I'll, I'll send her over if you want because yeah. i got to go over and talk to them. So, uh, All right, as soon as they're done, I will send Tomlinson over. Right. I'm just going to get a quick comment from her and then send her over. Thanks, Fish. Thanks so much all for right, guys. today. See you soon. Yep.
Yeah, Fish was upset with me because I called out sick earlier this season and he had to do 12 innings of play-by-play. -play. But in his autobiography, I think that's going to be one of the great chapters that um, I'm looking forward to reading as uh, he goes over to talk with the Robbinsville Ravens. And we'll have our player of the game coming up in just a little bit. Wow, a great one. A, a pitching duel that goes back and forth and a great finish with uh, Tomlinson making the catch in center field. All right, we're coming right back in just a moment. New Jersey is home to the best public schools in the nation, and that didn't happen by accident. It's the result of parents, educators, and communities working together year after year to give our students a world-class education, no matter the challenge. Because parents and educators know that with a shared commitment to our public schools, our children can learn, grow, and thrive. And together, we can keep New Jersey's public schools the best in the nation. Hi, Merrill Reese reminds you to come back home to traditional Italian cuisine at the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road in Ewing Township. You'll always feel welcome at the Revere. It's like stepping back in time where you'll feel like you're dining in South Philly or New York's Little Italy. Start your meal with complimentary Hoboken bread. Choose from a menu featuring fresh seafood dishes, succulent steaks and chops, or homemade pasta dishes. You can even eat at the bar. The Revere is open seven days for lunch and dinner. Private room available for special affairs, plus catering. For reservations, call 609-882-6365 at 609 609- 882-6365. Come home to traditional Italian cuisine. The Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road, Ewing Township. Trenton Thunder Baseball is back for its 30th year. Big League Futures, Major League Fun, Trenton Thunder tickets are now available. Single game tickets, group plans, suite nights. Get your tickets now. For more information, visit TrentonThunder.com. That's TrentonThunder.com. Or call 609 394 3300. That's 609-394-3300. Post-game fireworks nights, pork roll Fridays, and dog welcome nights throughout the season. Trenton Thunder Baseball, Big League Futures, Major League Fun. Hi, Merrill Reese for Capital Health, reminding you that the former St. Francis Medical Center is now Capital Health East, and they still offer a 24-7 emergency department as well as outpatient medical clinic services. To enter the emergency department and outpatient clinic, please use the Burt Avenue entrance. Capital Health, proud to be a partner for better health in our state's capital, Trenton, New Jersey. This is Merrill Reese reminding you that Alderman Ford Subaru on Route 33 in Hamilton Township is more than just a great place to purchase a new Ford Subaru or pre-owned car or truck. All right, welcome back to Notre Dame High School. Ariana Tomlinson is our player of the game for the Robbinsville Ravens. Congratulations on this you. win. You Thank just you. ran over here. You're a little bit out of breath. <laughs> and this win must be um, uh, pretty exciting for you guys. It's so exciting. I'm really happy for us. We played so hard. I'm proud of all of us. And honestly, we really needed this. We needed to come back. Okay, so you make the amazing catch at the end of the game. Can you take us through that play? What was going through your mind as that ball comes off the bat? Yeah, um, honestly, as an outfielder, you're always trained, read that ball off the bat, and having the confidence to just go out there and give it all you got. So with me and my training, I'm just trusting myself to get to that spot, catch the ball, just hang on as tightly as I can. <laughs> I mean, give it all you got is kind of the Ravens mentality this yeah. season. Um, tell me a little bit about what this win means for your team. Uh, if you think this has any more significance than another win that you guys have had this season. I mean, it is the Irish. Yeah. They're a good program. Mm -hmm. Historically, we've always had a really big rivalry. I'm so proud of us. This game is no bigger than anything else. Every win is a big win. We have the expectation to play hard, go as hard as we can, and we can beat any team. Not only the big catch, but your ground ball drove in the only run of the game. What were you seeing off of uh, Riley Mahalik? She's such a good pitcher. You guys got to her just a little bit, but it was mm -hmm. enough. Yeah, um, Riley is a great pitcher. I'm going to give all the props to her. She's a respected pitcher in the state of New Jersey. And the country period so what we were seeing is honestly hey, she's gonna hit her spots so we have to hit our spots so we have to just get on top of the ball get it in the ground and just make the ball go into play all right so we talk about Riley but how about Katie 
Katie. And, um, yes. you know, you, you, she did such a great job. Yeah. It must give you a little bit of motivation to play behind her mm -hmm. and uh, to know um, how good she is and how good she's been for you guys. The, she's a senior and I'm a junior and the past three years have been nothing but amazing playing behind her. I have so much trust in her and she has so much trust in us and I think that chemistry is what gets us through these really tough games. Well, great job today. You're our Italian People's Bakery player of the game. <laughs> thank Amazing you, thank defense. You. Good job at the plate. The Ravens win it over the Irish. And we're going to step aside and return here to the field in just a little bit to wrap this one up. Thank you so Congratulations. much. Congratulations. Their collision and service center services all makes and models and specializes in fleet service. Haldeman's Collision Center is renowned for their work. It's a state-of-the-art facility. All insurance accepted, free estimates and loaner cars available, and one of the friendliest staffs around. From small dents to major repairs on any maker model, it's Haldeman Ford Subaru Collision Center, Route 33 in Hamilton Township. They're good! Back here at Notre Dame High School, the home of the Irish. They fall just short to the Robbinsville Ravens, and the Ravens now even their season record. So the Ravens improved to six and one. They drop the Irish to six wins, and they issue them their first loss of the season. Still between the softball game and the baseball game here on campus, just one run so far. Still scoreless over there on the baseball diamond. Big thanks to the crew here on site. Fish, fish, and Gus Barber, our video engineer. Thanks to Capital Health System, the Mercer County Prosecutor's Office, Haldeman Ford Subaru, Kessel Dermatology, the Revere Restaurant, Notre Dame High School. Thanks to the New Jersey Education Association, Italian People's Bakery, and our player of the game, Ariana Tomlinson. We thank her for a bit of her time. Thanks to Jammer Doors, the Trentonian, the Trenton Thunder, and Hyundai of Trenton. All right, so one final time, our score here from Notre Dame High School in Lawrence, New Jersey, it was the Robbinsville Ravens 1 and the Notre Dame Irish nothing. Thanks for listening and watching high school softball on the WBCB.